to look forward to winter in June. It is coming at the end of the month as the Arizona Coyotes team up with Phoenix Rising for Coyotes Night at Casino Arizona Field. And it turns out rising goalkeeper Zach Lubin knows a lot about hockey because he played that sport first. I caught up with him on skates. Zach, thanks for hanging out with us. This is a good place to be in June in Arizona, right? It's perfect. Just got done with training. Come here, it's cool. It's cold. I get to be in short sleeves. It's nice. Yeah, it feels really nice and brisk. So Coyotes Night is coming up, of course, and you have a good reason to be excited about this because of your time as a hockey player. Can you tell us about your history in hockey? I grew up playing hockey. I uh, spent my whole life. Our city parks were always frozen over and hockey was a big deal in Bozeman in Montana. So I played there until I was a senior in high school and I also spent a year playing in Canada. So soccer and hockey, but I was surprised to learn that you were not a goalie in hockey. Why is that? I, don't know, I guess I started as a center in hockey before I was a goalie in soccer really, but I just don't think anyone could be a goalie in two different sports. Like I had to score some goals and I had to, uh, you know, have a little be, be the hero at some point because uh, being a goalkeeper is not easy. Growing up in Montana, it seems like you really love the outdoors. I've noticed that when I'm looking at your social media and just chatting with you. And recently, you and some of the other guys went up to the Grand Canyon. Tell me a little bit about finding your time in nature here in Arizona. It's been like such a pleasant surprise. Uh, coming here, I didn't really expect to be able to do so much outdoors. But quickly last year, I realized like, there's so much hiking and outdoor stuff to do. Like I go up to Sedona and camp a bunch, hike, uh, go to the surrounding lakes. It's been awesome. Um, so yeah, just last weekend we had a bye weekend. Uh, took six guys up camping. None of them had ever been camping before or anything. So to like share that experience with them and give them a little taste of like how I grew up with my family, like going camping, sitting under the stars, having a fire was uh, was pretty special and like a good little bonding like moment for us. On your Instagram post about the Grand Canyon trip, uh, John called you dad <laughs> with the heart eye emojis. I need to know uh, why. <laughs> hey, I was, you know, I was dad Zach this weekend. You know, I was making sure all the guys were taken care of. I was driving the RV. How do you stay focused when you're playing so well and you, you know, you don't want to just take it for granted that you're going to go out and get a win? We're so short in the season. We're like maybe a quarter of the way through. We have so many more games and we have goals. And even now, we haven't met the standard that we would have liked to be at at this moment. Our goal is to host the USL Championship because in the past five or six years, every team that's hosted has won. The crowd at home games has got to help, but especially on nights when there's an extra reason to get excited, like Coyotes Night. So how does it make you feel when you have a collaboration like that and you have the support of another organization in the Valley? Uh, it's, it's great to know like that we are supported, even though we're not a top league team, you know, like the Cardinals, the Coyotes, uh, the Diamondbacks, that like we're supported by the Valley and that they see us you know, as a top tier team in, uh, in the Valley and that, you know. So you guys, um, those pictures that you saw, those were actually from Joe. He took those on the trip and that video as well. And I just think it's hilarious that they just have so much fun and they joke around so much on social media like you saw John with the hard eye emoji and all of that. It just shows that they're more than just you know, teammates, they are true, true friends. And it's awesome to see that. I would have loved to see how the whole camping trip went. Bunch of guys that had never been camping before. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> With Zach yes. running the no, show. No, I'm, I'm very thankful. There With were, Dad there Zach was, running there the show. There was video and photos, but I wish there was a little bit more. Yeah, well, they all came back safely. So Zach did a good job. But Coyotes Night, again, coming up on June 29th. And these are the custom Coyotes Kachina training tops they'll be wearing. There's going to be appearances by Coyotes personalities. They're going to do some giveaways on social media. That, again, is coming up on the 29th taking on the Timbers at 7.30 p.m. And then the kits will be auctioned off after the game, so we'll have details on that uh, on social media as well.